All right, the great Eddie Hearn joins me today. Uh, great, you brought the, the nice weather over, did you? When they told me they were doing an outdoor workout, I was like, are you mad? But yeah, we got away with it so far, touch wood. I mean, obviously a, a massive fight week, Katie Taylor doing her homecoming. This is a fight that you've probably wanted to do since you first signed her, and it's taken you years to get it done. Yeah, I mean, Chantel Cameron's the kind of person that you just don't fight until yeah. the rewards come with it. Katie would have, but yeah. I always looked at this fight, and you know, people felt that Katie or someone feared Chantel Cameron. They didn't, they just knew how dangerous the fight was. And when I created this tournament for the, the light welterweights, and when Chantel become undisputed, I said, if you become undisputed, you will fight Katie Taylor. I don't think they believe me, but Katie was always up for it. And when she called it on, no one was getting in the way. And it just shows you, you know, and as good a fight as this is, it's also for Katie to become a two division yeah. undisputed champion. She's challenging on Saturday night, you know? And uh, it's gonna be an unbelievable fight. And interestingly, a lot of the people in the boxing world I've spoken to actually think that Katie's gonna lose. Yeah, I think many people are split in this fight. And I think, you know, there's always a question marks of, how, you know, where is Katie at in terms of her career. Chantel is 100% in her prime. Like that's, that's undeniable. Yeah. But it's gonna be difficult for, for Chantel Cameron. You know, Katie's super sharp. She's got 9,000 fans behind her. The atmosphere is gonna be unbelievable. But Chantel's gotta force the fight as early as possible. If, if Katie starts racking up the rounds, as she does, it starts to get very difficult. And, you're going to see a great fight either way. And of course, backing the fight, uh, the great Conor McGregor is yeah. involved. Uh, I know at the press conference you weren't 100% sure what his role would be. Now he's going to be supporting. He said he's going to be there on Saturday night selling his tickets, yeah. touting his tickets a little bit. Um, what is exactly Conor's role going to be in this fight now? Um, you know, I think that he's a man of his word in the respect of, you know, he called out that he wanted to be involved. And sometimes people do that for clout, not that he needs it. Yeah. But when I had a meeting with him at the Black Forge, I mean, one, you can tell he's his passion for his brands, yeah. but also his passion for Katie Taylor. And you know, he said he wanted to sponsor Katie, he wanted to sponsor the event, and he stepped up and Tidal was sponsoring Katie Taylor. Tidal was sponsoring the event, Forged Irish Stout was sponsoring the event, and he's bringing even more hype to the event, so it's been fantastic. Um, and gen genuinely as well, people think I'll say this anyway, but two great brands. Like, I'm not a stout drinker. I went down the Black Forge, I had a pint at the Forge Zari. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. And Tidal as well, you know, I use and I know how good it is. So big respect to him and for supporting his own. I was actually there the day you had that meeting with oh, yeah. Connor at the, at the Forge. Yeah. And he uh, like he really did put on a show for you. Yeah, it, was yeah. a, it was a great I meeting. It seems energy. like you've got a friendship. Love, he's mad, isn't he? Yeah. But I love his energy. Yeah. Because he walked in, as soon as he come in, you know, he's like, and it's, it's not for show, it's, that's just him. And he'll always get criticism. And look, sometimes people do silly things, sometimes people change, sometimes people can't be fucking bothered to please everyone anymore. So, but he's a legend, isn't he? I yeah. mean, as far as I'm concerned, one of the great fighters of all time, one of the great self-promoters of all time, and he's given us a few quid to support the event. So I love him even more. It's, yeah, I know you love a few quid, all right. It seems to me like uh, like you've got a couple of homecomings possible for Katie. I know that this fight is, uh, is this weekend. And then it looks like maybe September you could have either a, a rematch of a Go Chantel's way or a rematch with Serrano maybe in, in Croker. Yeah, I mean, I think this is such a tough fight. No one looks past this Saturday. Uh, but of course, this could be the norm for Katie Taylor yep. to headline in Ireland. And, it's weird that we're doing things backwards, like I said, you know, it's like normally you debut here or yeah. you fight for your first world title here. Now she's here in the biggest fight of her career, but we may stay here now. But because she's become so popular around the world, she hasn't needed to rely on Ireland. I think that she's done everything that she's done in her career without fighting in her hometown. You're unbelievable. Your old pal Jake Paul seems very keen to make this Croke Park thing happen in September. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, we'll see if Serrano's the right fight for us after this. She has to win on Saturday. She could be rematching Chantel Cameron. Yeah. And Serrano, of course, has a, a tough L fight against uh, Heather Hardy. Ah, no. It's an, it's an easy fight. I mean, you know, they fought many years ago. Yeah. Heather Hardy's an unbelievable uh, servant of, um, of boxing. Okay. I feel Serrano with that fight. Right now, you and Jake's relationship isn't great, but when's the last time you talked to, to Nikita or, or that team? We speak, we speak to them all the time. You know, obviously, me and, me and uh, Jake had a fallout, but it hasn't stopped us doing business or talking. When's the last time to Jake? Probably, uh, probably the Serrano fight. Yeah. Did you catch the fight on Saturday night, KSI? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, I spoke to Joe Fournier last night because he, he was a bit upset with what I said, which was I felt that 
Fournier was going to get knocked out, yeah. legitimately. 100%. But it was a clear elbow, and you know, I know they've got their own commission, <laughs> and but you know, normally that fight would be overturned or you'd order a rematch. But you know, in, in that in that world. But big respect to all of them. Yep. And I said to Joe, I said, look, you made the event fantastic. You know, you got in there and fought, many couldn't. I just felt that he was gonna get knocked out and yeah. he was hurt, but he didn't like that. But, um, you know, I think those misfit stuff, it's good now because they've become so, almost so farcical that they're not trying to be boxing. Right. It's just entertaining. Do you like the, the lads who look like me on the undercard? Mental. <laughs> Mental. I mean, the whole thing's mental, but that's fine. Let it be mental. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Put it over there, and it does great numbers for the zone. You know, if, if we can somehow bring kids to follow boxing or, or watch boxing or train in the gyms, great. But keep it away from boxing, and we'll do our stuff. But it keeps, make sure that the pressure's on us to keep delivering great fights and great events. Because it's busy, those fights, and they're doing good numbers, you know? Do you reckon Tommy beats KSO? <laughs> I'm not, I really, listen, I think KSI is a really smart guy, he puts everything into boxing, I think he's improved so much, I'm just, I haven't seen enough of him, right, like, I like KSI against Jake Paul, Good that's the fight, yeah, no, of course, what happened in Riyadh, you were just there a couple of weeks ago, what, what went down with talking, that, talking, obviously they want to make AJ against Wilder, so do we, um, we'll have to see what happens. No official offers yet, but hopefully it comes this week. Is that AJ Wilder or Wilder AJ? Let's not go there yet. <laughs> but what, like, you haven't talked numbers or anything or anything like that? No, no numbers. They know what we made to fight Ruiz. They know what we made to fight Usyk. This is a much bigger fight. But this is a considerably bigger fight than yes. either of those, yeah. and even without any belts on the line. Yeah, five, well, five, bigger five. than Fury Usyk? I think so. I get people have a go at me when I say that, but I, I think so. Well, and you think that it, it, do you think like it's likely it probably goes down? I mean, considering your relationship. I think so. Yeah. I mean, look, they've got the means to do it, and we've worked with them before. They're great to work with. If they want it, it can happen. Finally, what is the, the what do you think is going to happen on Saturday night here in uh, in the three arena? I think you're going to get an unbelievable fight. I mean, I think it's an unbelievable card as well. You know, you've got Gary Cully in there. You know, he's got a tough fight. Harper against Brackhouse, great fight. Hogan against Metcalf, great fight. That's a cracking fight. You know, Carty against uh, McFarlane's going to be a lot of fun. Keeping their Jarko's back. Paddy Donovan, Maisie Rosie, a tough fight against the Irish girl. You know, it'll be a great night. Thank you very much.